Once again, welcome back to Crypto Tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to talk about Binance Coin and how it will be performing in the upcoming days and weeks. But firstly, I wanted to thank for your support during the previous weeks, mostly because you were liking my videos and even subscribing to this channel. So that was very highly appreciated. So thank you once again for watching the video. So let's get started right away. What we are seeing over here is the Binance compared to the US dollar chart on the daily time frame. And what I wanted to show you firstly was not only the volume level levels but also the moving averages but let's start by looking at the volume what we could see over here that was after this major move towards the upside we saw the volume also rising towards the upside as you saw over here most of the people were buying this was data that showed us that people were buying binance at that certain moment after that moment we went even higher up, but something really particular happened. The volume did not went up as well. So that is something very controversial for sure. Especially if you take a move at how the overall chart of Binance moved towards the upside, we saw that the low, low volume was there during this period of time when it went even towards its all time high. So that is something very in particular. You saw that it was just a smooth transition of volume during this peak over here so there were not a lot of buyers not a lot of sellers and out of nowhere we saw this huge dump towards the downside especially also due to the bitcoin flash crash and we saw this huge momentum towards the downside getting created and a lot of volume get it started so you could be saying were people selling very carefully at this point before selling off all their binance token and actually starting this downtrend of approximately let's take a look 61 percent that could be possible but i personally think no one thought that the overall market was going to move towards the downside instead towards the upside and, and that is why a lot of panic sellers decided to sell at this moment when they were still accumulating in the previous phase before so that is something for sure i wanted to show you and let's enable the moving averages and i will disable the volume and if we take a look at the moving averages right now, we are trading in between the 200 day and the 100 day moving average. The 200 day moving average is the red line below us and the 100 day moving average is the yellow one above us. And what we are seeing is that we're trading in between these two lines. And what I think is of utmost importance is to break above this yellow line before heading even further and also finding support on top of this level at approximately $384. So that's a major level where you would like to take a look at before heading further up on the Binance coin chart. Also, if we break out towards the downside, I think the 200 day moving average is for sure a level of major resistance, as I said previously, also during my videos. And I think a move towards the downside could be possible as well. But let's take a look at some other things first. And I will be showing you my price prediction for sure. But what I wanted to show you before was this article on CoinSlate about the bar Binance Smart Chain. And what is actually written here is that the Binance Smart Chain has called for action due to several attacks during the previous weeks on several different decentralized finance tokens. So that is something very very important to take a look at and what we are seeing over here is this article that is actually telling us that multiple coins were attacked such as belt finance burger swap and pancake bunny and that is just a few of those that have lost possibly millions up to 10 millions of dollars and that is very huge amounts of money and this is something you have to take into consideration if you're investing in these coins that they have been attacked by hackers so something very important to take a look at and what i wanted to show you is actually this part over here in today's announcement binance smart chain outline a few recommendations for decentralized applications and how to mitigate the risk of a hacker attack first of all decentralized finance applications developers should seek help from the dedicated security audit companies such as Certic and Peck Shields to double and triple check their platform code. So this is something I think is very important if you would like to invest in the future into a small cap coin or into any type of interesting coin, especially because we saw this these hacker attacks happening on the Binance Smart Chain, you would like to see a certified coin by Certic and Peckshield as Binance Smart Chain recommended to their development teams because this is of utmost importance to guarantee the safety of your 
portfolio and also of your investment. So that is for sure something very important. I won't be reading this article completely, but if you're interested down below in the description section, you will find a part where you will find information and links. And there is where I will be placing this article if you would like to take a look at it at CoinSlate. Also, do not forget if you're liking the content so far to subscribe to this channel and even hit that bell notification. So let's get back to the Binance chart. And what we are actually going to take a look at is not the Binance chart compared to the US dollar, but actually the Binance chart compared to Bitcoin. And also over here, it is looking actually way healthier than on the US dollar chart because he, right here we are not trading in between the 200 and 100 day moving average but we are trading in between the 100 day moving average and the 50 day moving average and right now as you can see over here we have broke above the 50 day moving average already several times so that is something of utmost importance to find support on top of the 50 day moving average before heading further and finding support on top of this horizontal resistance before heading further up and this horizontal resistance line is the same that we saw previously at approximately $384. So for sure important major level of resistance where you would like to take a look at right now. So I will be disabling the moving averages and I will be enabling the EMA ribbon. And what you're seeing over here is that right now we are currently having some trouble. We are seeing resistance getting formed uh, underneath the EMA ribbon and actually the EMA ribbon served as support during a major period of time and i think it is of utmost importance for binance to be able to bounce once again above the EMA ribbon and finding support on top of it before heading further and that is personally why i think this level over here of horizontal resistance is a major level we have to get above especially because we did not only see the EMA ribbon right now as major overhead resistance but also the 50 day moving average and both of those will be serving as a major level of support if we break above them so that is for sure something you wanted to but that is for sure something of utmost importance so i will be enabling the macd and what you're seeing over here is something actually very interesting especially if i enable the ema ribbon once again we are not just only testing the ema ribbon trying to get above the even breaking out and finding support on top of it we are also right now on the MACD actually almost having a crossover on the daily time frame compared to Bitcoin and this is something of utmost importance because after this we will see a momentum towards the upside getting created and as we can see on previous data when this happens we see momentum towards the upside getting created especially over here we saw this major pump towards the upside before a little bit of downward momentum was created but after that we saw once again more momentum towards the upside and just after this period we saw less momentum getting started but right now we saw a huge momentum wave towards the downside and i personally think that after this crossover over here we will be having enough strength to break above the ema ribbon and above the 50 day moving average something very important for sure and let's take a look as well at the four hourly time frame compared to bitcoin what we are seeing over here is something very important as well we already had a crossover on the mcd i personally think that will be generating a lot of upward momentum as you saw previously during this crossover over here we saw this major move towards the upside getting created we were retesting once again the ema ribbon and i think this is of utmost importance that we are actually able to find support on top of the ema ribbon already multiple times and we were breaking once again below it and once again above it but right now we broke above the ema ribbon and the ema ribbon is actually having a crossover on the indicator lines and when it does so it will mean that the longs will be taking over the short positions and once this happens we will see a major upward momentum getting created especially in combination with the MACD crossover on the daily time frame that will be of a huge advantage to be able to see an incredible gain on Binance coin so let's take a look at the Binance compared to US dollar chart on the four hourly time frame I will be disabling the EMA ribbon but I wanted to show you something very very important to take a look at and that is the possible price target where we will be heading towards if we see Binance coin breaking out towards the up or towards the downside but I personally think we have enough indicators that are telling us that we will be going up instead of going down so 
let's take a look what i saw over here was actually something very interesting to take a look at that's this major symmetrical triangle that's getting created on the binance chart compared to the us dollar and i think this is a pattern of utmost importance especially because this pattern tends to break out towards the downside if the previous momentum was towards the downside as well as we saw over here but as i showed you this previous momentum does not count that much of course it is a significant momentum towards the downside so it's still possible that we will be breaking out towards the downside on the binance chart but i personally think especially because of the ama ribbon on the bitcoin chart also due to the macd on the bitcoin daily chart and the moving averages on the daily time frame compared to us dollar and compared to bitcoin i personally think we will see a major move towards the upside getting created for sure so what will that possible momentum towards the upside look like? I will be measuring it for you and I will be measuring from this descending resistance towards this ascending support line over here straight all the way down and I will be measuring it like this if we see a possible breakout above this downward sloping resistance and we find support on top of it and that will be a confirmation that we are finding support on this descending resistance and that would be amazing because this pattern will be actually breaking out towards the upside and if this symmetrical triangle breaks out towards the upside we would be seeing a possible move up approximately let's take a quick look 41 percent so this is a major move towards the upside where you, what you for sure do not want to miss out especially if you're able to place a long trade position on this point over here after the confirmation of binance by finding support on top of this descending resistance it would be an amazing place to place your entry at 300 and $66 before you see a major potential move of 41% getting created, breaking out of this symmetrical triangle. So for sure, something very important you do not want to miss out on. And if we are breaking out all the way towards the upside, we will be heading towards the $520 level. I personally think that if this breakout happens, we will be heading back down after it towards the $484 level before heading even further up, especially because there, this is a major level of support and we have quite a blank space over here, but we could be placing a horizontal level of support and resistance at this level as well. So it could also be possible to find support on top of the $500 level. So the $500 level is actually the target where Binance margin is heading to. If you ask me, I think personally, that is quite a, possible price target and also i will be enabling the fibonacci retracement to take a look what it could possibly look like and i will be placing it from swing high towards the swing low because the previous trend was towards the downside and what we are seeing over here if we see this breakout occur we will be heading above the 0 0.618 Fibonacci level at $504. So for sure, that $500 level will be a level of utmost importance and where we will be possibly finding support or major resistance. So for sure, something very important to take a look at, a possible move of 41% towards the upside, but also if it does not happen and we see a momentum towards the downside getting created we would be heading towards the level where we saw this v-shaped recovery of the binance coin and also this was the level where we were actually finding support on top of so that's something i think very important and why i personally think it will be quite difficult to head even lower than this particular level so if we see a breakout towards the downside my personal opinion is that it will be more likely to head all the way towards the $214 than heading even further down towards the $187. But also, if you take a look at the EMA ribbon on the four hourly time frame, right now we are for the first time breaking above the EMA ribbon not getting rejected by it as we saw previously over here we went inside of the EMA ribbon and we were rejected towards the downside but for the very first time we were able to stay above the EMA ribbon over here and i think this is something of utmost importance because if the longs take over the shorts on the EMA ribbon we will see a major move towards the upside getting created and also if we go a little bit further 
we will see that the 200 day moving average is all the way on this part over here so that will serve as a major level of resistance as well if we break out towards the upside and that would be at approximately let's take a look 438 dollars so possibly we will be heading towards the 500 dollar level but a key level of resistance that you have to break through before heading even further towards the 500 dollar level is for sure this level over here at 450 or 400 and 48 us dollar and also the 0 0.5 fibonacci level so this is a very important level especially because you're seeing the 200 day moving average over here and the fibonacci level of 0 0.5 a major level of support and resistance what you have to take into consideration so very very important but a possible huge trade getting created and bnb going once again towards the 500 dollar target and that would be absolutely incredible and amazing if this could happen so if you do not want to miss out on this possible 41 percent trade do not forget that down below in the description you will find several links to make your personal account on the top four leveraged trading exchanges and you can earn up to 2000 deposit bonus down on femex and 1610 dollars deposit bonus on bybit and also on GTO, you are able to trade up to 736 different type of cryptocurrencies and that's for sure something very useful because you can just trade on the same platform over and over again without making those transactions to all other type of platforms because you are not able to buy that particular cryptocurrency on the platform you were looking at so just a small recap of this video we were looking at this possible trade of 41 percent on the bnb compared to bitcoin chart we are seeing that we are above the ema ribbon but, but also on the daily time frame we are finding support on top of the 100 day moving average and finding overhead resistance of the 50 day moving average but once we break above it we will see a huge potential move towards the upside and lastly most importantly also the crossover on the MACD that will create upward momentum towards the upside and a possible 41% move towards the upside. That's something of utmost importance. So if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also place a big thumbs up down below. Thank you very much and have a nice day.